Um, yeah, my name is Matthias, as was alluded to earlier. This is Ratchet Devlops, the fourth game in the Ratchet and Clank series. Although, so this one's a bit different compared to the other ones in the series because it's more based on combat rather than platforming and movement, like the OG trilogy before it. And yeah, so for commentary, I've got Benjolin. And G'day. also G'day. Sage Bean. So I guess if you guys can introduce yourselves a little bit. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Because uh, I'm here. Uh, yeah. I'm Ben uh, Jalen. I, I sometimes, sometimes run this game. Run this game I, swear. I, I swear. I, I totally, I promise, totally just promise. Just don't check, check when I last submitted a run to the board. Um, I've been with Ratchet, been with Ratchet, Ratchet, Ratchet Deadlock Ratchet for a couple of years now. It's a great fun little game. Massive community. Well, not a massive community, but. There's a, a there's strong a, community a strong around it, very approachable. Very approachable. Um, hopefully today, um, we, hopefully get today we get to show off some of the show stuff, some of the stuff uh, that makes us really, makes us really uh, feel, uh, passionate feel passionate about, about this game and why, game why you and might want to run it yourself. Run it yourself. Oh, uh, okay, just let me know if any issues arise because apparently Marathon Man is telling me we've got doubled audio. So if there's something I have to do to fix that... Um, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, I see. So 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 this is NG plus no LC. So this is the new game plus or challenge mode category but there was a final question i think it was like 2018 that was found where you can somewhat load two files at the same time and using that allows you to be able to skip straight to the final planet of the game so this category bans that glitch so it's a much more full run so that you can see everything i guess and so time starts when I select the difficulty and we'll explain in time when that when we get to that. So time starts three, two, one, go. <laughs> So all Ratchet Deadlock categories, uh, I assume you're doing fine for that. So, so you set up the double jump to read make a save at the end of uh, this room, uh, this room? Uh, in third person, third person. Third person. And then you can switch uh, back to the camera. camera. And doing so, and doing just so gives just 10, seconds 10 seconds or so of so clank dialogue, dialogue. Right. but then you just but get you just straight get into straight the action. Um, so, so immediately, immediately in the game, plus we move fast because we have the ninja skin. Um, um, and, and yeah, so the ninja yeah, skin lets us move at. at um, I think Dan said it was like 20% faster than without it. Yeah, it's 20 or 25% faster uh, than without the ninja skin. Uh, to unlock the ninja skin, you basically have to like 100% again. Um, so there's lots so there's of stuff lots that stuff happens that happens straight away. Straight away. Uh, so we'll have to, um, so we'll have sort to sort of catch you up on what some of the spec is as we go. As we go. Um, so yeah, basics uh, are pretty much, uh, pretty much in, in this game, you don't have there's no oh, pack that. movement. You do, however, have combat buffs and sort of make up for combat. Wow. So there's three primary uh, hits that we can use straight away uh, in New Game Plus as opposed to any percent. Uh, those are sort of momentum cancel, um, a thing called hyper stacking, uh, uh. and a thing called mind -blowing. So momentum cancelling is when you've got the charge group out, you can fire a weapon and you keep your momentum, which lets you uh, skip across small gaps. Hyper stacking is uh, a tech that we use later where you 
Uh, going to the menu. Now and then by doing a specific uh, attack, you can go into the fight. And mind clipping is basically what it says on the team. We use a weapon called the Mind Glove that lets us clip through things. So, we've already finished the first bit of the Proto Planet. We're going to have to go massively fast to the or uh, in, in any percent of XP amount of go. Got it. Yeah, we're Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying to adjust the stuff as, uh, as much as I can. Like, it's just my mic's quite easy because I, I don't have a pair of headphones that I can use, so... I, I, when, I, like, when I'm in transitions in the I can turn the game down a bit. So, because I'm being told that's an issue. So... Very quickly, kill all the enemies, and then we're on to some records. Okay. So, Sarathos mission two is going to have the first instance of hyperstacking in the run, and hyperstacking is I could be like one of the most broken things in, like it is. Probably the most broken thing in the entire game. But it's all from a coding bug, I guess. So what you did is you can you can use the mines to clip yourself through doors, as I just did there. But you can't just clip anywhere. Like if you try and clip out of more out of bounds than normal, the game will just insta kill you. There's a door that you can clip through because the door is openable in multiplayer, even though it doesn't open in single player. Uh, you can also clip through this. Yeah. So what we do on this level is we jump in the Puma, we jump out of the Puma, we come around the back, and we just sort of climb up the back of the arena. Because the end of the level in classic wrestling track type tradition is right in the start. So it's faster to just come around, jump in the back, and then it is to go any percent you drive the car around with your usual specific car clip thing is a pain, but here we're able to just use our faster speed to just sweep around. It. So this level here is the sort of final level of Sarathos, it's the sort of mini boss um, Leviathan thing. You have to tell your combat boss to hack all the orbs, and while they're busy hacking all the orbs, uh, you have to defend them from a bunch of Leviathans and then. Uh, at the end of the level, a uh, sort of King Leviathan is formed in the center of this pit, I guess it is. Uh, and you just want to kill him, and once he dies, uh, level over, and we can move on to the next one. Okay. <laughs> so, Kronos can be fun and infuriating at the same time. It's the longest planet in the run because it has it has the most story missions to it and it also has a couple of things you need to do with the you need to manage with the bots as well for it to work let me set up okay. 
Harbinger, fire rifle fail. Take orbs. Make sure I can get the checkpoint. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, bots. The bots can be weird sometimes, and there's not a lot you can do about it. That one worked. So if you see the sort of boss for this level shell shock, you say hi shell shock, hi shell shock, and you see the absolute harbinger of the leaves. And again, this is another one of those instances where we have the level beyond the curtain. We have the sort of enemy spawn locations memorized, and so we just know. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so what we do on this level is there's this little um, elevator right here at the start that doesn't come down until you kill all the enemies. Uh, normal. So what we do is we just sort of bypass that trigger by hyper stacking uh, up to a point where the elevator thinks that you've already sort of passed the spike, and so the elevator goes down, uh, and then we can jump on the elevator. Yeah. Um, this is another instance of mine clipping. We see it all over the place. Um, lots of tech, very fast. I mean, actually, like yeah. Uh, new game pops on. Yeah. Things, things yeah. Things. You, you barely get a moment to breathe. So, yeah, so one thing we didn't cover on is hyper stacking itself. Like, it was found in 2018, I think, that entering the pause, entering the control options in the pause menu actually resets Ratchet's state. So, what you can do is you can do a hyper strike and you can enter the control options, and when you exit out, Ratchet's in this kind of grounded position. And then out of that, you can do another hyper strike, and so on and so forth, as many times as you want, as long as you don't really hit one of the dead spaces. Oh, this this one, this is a doozy. Oh, that could have, oh, that could have been an incentive. Oh, dang. Oh. Top deadlock, top deadlock incentive strat idea. Bean strats. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, no, technically there's, there's four. Is four plus is the final level. Please don't soft lock. Yeah, I think I, I think I. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, th I think, I think Muckerman kind of has the whole world record pace thing down by now. 
I mean, yeah, Dan, Dan has AEC and any percent, but anything else, or had any percent, <laughs> since Mutt got 110, but... Yeah. Yeah. on the PlayStation 4, any region, buy it, uh, and it's just good to go. Uh, it's also faster, uh, because of the load, uh, and otherwise you have to get a NPSC copy of the game, so a PS2. Um, it does, however, come with some points, in that there are more crashes, uh, the game is a little bit more laggy in uh, Some of the effects are different, because it turns out porting assembly code is difficult, and... Uh, I think that's it. Ah, there's, yeah, I mean, like, there's some levels where there's, like, gas, and the gas doesn't appear. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sort of, uh, the yeah, we 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 yeah we don't we don't talk we don't talk about the we don't we don't talk about did not PS3 cutscenes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is. Yeah, this is like the single. Yeah, arguably this is the single worst mission in the entire game because it's so easy for stuff to go wrong. It's easy for bots to die. Because, yeah, I mean, we're on NG+, Plus, so we've bought all, all of the bot upgrades, with the exception of the shield link, which means the bots are basically tanks, kind of. But yeah, don't buy a shield link if you're running this game, because it will add like, it will add like five minutes to your time. Because if you have the shield... Yeah. Oh. Best try. Nice. So here we are on Orpso. Um, we, this first mission that we need to do... Oh, how do I have so little ammo? Gonna get on the bolt, but get on the bolt. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 
All right. So this is this is an example where the shield link significantly hurts you, because you have to hack all of these orbs. Basically, you're just hanging around waiting for your combat to pack all of the orbs. Which, whilst I have a second to talk about it, I am. Deadlock is one of the, is a really great um, introductory speed game in the action country because it's very accessible. The text is very easy to actually learn, even though this looks super fast paced. Uh, and IELTS are super fast. But anyway, move on to this mission. Uh, this mission, you're meant to run around with the land stalker and you blow up all of these uh, sort of anchor points. Uh, but it's just fast to get out of the land stalker and use the rhino equivalent for this game of Harbinger to just blow them up for you. Bingo, bango, bajingo, level over, we're done with all the time, and we can just keep on moving with us. I play too much at any percent. I'm like, wow, I can't believe how fast through the game is. <laughs> yeah. Where, actually, where, where would any percent be, actually, by this point? I can't remember. All right, yeah. Um, this mission is another one of those. So, as I was saying before, the problem is having a sort of combat and platform missions. This is one of those combat missions. So, this mission's sort of gimmick is that you're given just a single weapon, the Hunter Mine Launcher. Uh, you have unlimited ammo, your ammo will refill. Um, but you can't spin it too fast because it takes a while to refill. Yeah. Also, yeah. You might have noticed that we have. V99 everything, which is the highest level in the game that the weapons can go to, and in fact the highest in the entire series. Like most of the time, the weapons go to V10, or at max, these ones go all the way up to V99. And the benefit of that is that you have rainbow ammo <laughs> when your weapons get to V99, so. Um, hello? So, yeah. Ooh, clutch. Dang it. Okay, so yeah, like the one that's going to be easy to spin is that we use the freeze on Mega Mod on everything because it skips the death animation of of all the enemies. Oh, I, oh yeah, because I mean robot, robot, robots just explode. And get on the bolt, please. All right. Um, we can okay. do strats such as that where we're sort of getting right up in his face and hyper stacking. Or... Yep. I'm okay. not sure exactly how that works. Okay. Yeah. So, Valix mission one it has like one of the only real proper out of bounds sequences in the entire game. And then, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, okay. Alright, then, 
Let me just say that the hover ship missions in this game suck. Thankfully, in this category, you only have to do two of them. But they, they're really, they're, like, I mean, this is the worst one. Like, this, like... So there's this one, we have to go around killing all the enemies on these different islands. But the only thing is that the enemies can go everywhere, and a lot of the time they can just get stuck on this little, on a ledge. I, I can tell already that I've missed, that I've missed an enemy somewhere, so... I'll have to come, I'll have to go back for that one. So, yeah, there's there's four there's four vehicles. The land the land store felt the hover ship, the puma and the hover bike. I mean only only in any percent. <laughs> Thank you. I mean it's a yeah, why would we? It's a trick <laughs> Yeah, you play, you play, you play, you play any percent. Everyone hates turret trouble, though. So yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, here's an example of more distance-focused hyper-stacking, like you, st you stage them out quite a lot because you do store all the neutral speed. Yeah, like, of course you're going to lose a little bit over time. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yep, that's a fail. <laughs> Oops. Tried it. I was too. I was too ambitious there. Oh well. Yeah, I have to do it again. I have to. Normally, you're supposed to take it with a grind rail, but that's slow. Okay, let's let's not try that. Let's not try a fancy rack to double charge techniques. Yes, that is a good point. Okay, don't hard lock. Because it's a very common place to do it. So, the end of this mission, Shah mission 2, which was a long one, and then Ghost Station mission 2 a bit later on. So, yeah, I mean, Torval isn't, yeah, Torval isn't too bad anymore, like, it's still annoying, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Yeah. But it's it's quite it's quite it can be annoying though, as I'll pr I'm probably gonna mess it up, but we'll see. All right, here we go. Reset the challenge and then. Oh, almost. All right, I can work with this. That was actually really good, all things considered. So, 
Charlie still in the beginning. Uh, but as you saw, the splash damage on our rocket is sufficient to do this. Uh, this is another example of where we tell the boss to go and do something. Yeah, please get on the node. And then we just leave. Uh, and you'll see on the map the red dots disappear. That's enemy being despawned once they're sufficiently in the red. Uh, so it's super useful. Oh, almost got uh, it. Oh well. The box will just keep turning the box. You have to be a little bit careful because whilst the enemies themselves despawn, they get off the stop. Uh, so if an enemy is stuck on top of your combat box, it won't be able to turn the box. But it looks like we were fine. Just gotta stand around by the box. The final prank, and then we're done. <laughs> this last mission is uh, a quick little one where we just have to go up to the statue plant, a couple of bombs, and all of them back. Uh, we just have to wait for the boss to plant the bomb, and we just have to wait 10 seconds for the bomb to get down and go off. Um, the explosion from this doesn't hurt you at all. It's a question I'm asking. I, for one, like to stand. On top of the ace star light statue, just really rubbing the fact that it doesn't matter. You can do whatever. Um, and then we're finished with Torment. Oh, no, wrong, no. I was meshing. I was meshing stat too much. Right, Vindicator. Now, this is like, this one here has like your, your bathroom break of the run. Because there's a there's a two there's a two minute long challenge in, in here that once you get into it you can just you can just go out of bounds and just sit there. You know, I mean yeah, in any percent you use that to level up your flail. But what's the point of that in NG Plus when I already have everything maxed? Come on, please make it one more. Because the sort of random weapons you get, uh, so you uh, you always will finish uh, um, with three of these executioners. Good the wipers, good the wipers are slow. So you want to take out two or more executioners. Wow, I suck. <laughs> Nothing we can do to speed it up, it's full on auto scroller. But, uh, yeah, so in New Game Plus, we are able to sort of flip into this area and relax, go to the bathroom, have a snack, talk a chat, you know, chill. So, chat. Which Ratchet and Clank game is the best? That is a very controversial, that is a very controversial opinion. Well, I suppose while we're here, we're chilling here, there is a donation that came in towards the start of this run. Dan, nice. Dan MCD donated $50 and said, good luck, Matthias. Although, I, I swear, I pronounce your name different than it sounds like you. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> everyone, everyone gets it wrong unless you're from Denmark, basically. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, woof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well... Hmm. Oh, what? 
Oh, come on! He, how did he damage me and cost me the extra flail that I needed to get that fast? Like with all these bosses, we're in, we're out, we're done. It's very quick. That went horribly wrong. But it's still pretty quick. Um, Alright. We move on to Planet Stygia, which I believe is your favourite planet. Yeah, like, I mean, casually and aesthetically, it's quite my favourite. It used to be, like, the OG run killer, but it's not that bad anymore. I think Shah's taken that title for me. But, like, Yeah. It can be part of an it sounds, um, forever uh, Mobius will have the IL world record in the game because uh, out in the skybox, um, there is meteorites that uh, spawn randomly at all. The meteorites can damage the anchor points, and he just happened to have one that came down at just the right moment in just the right place and blew up his final anchor for him. And so no one will ever be able to take the IL or even tie the IL. Uh, in this level, so big ups to Mobius for just the best RNG anyone has ever seen. Um, but that's it for the lane circle, and then we're back to the more traditional levels. Um, another one of those turn the bolt cranks, go to the answer, just drop the box. We keep moving throughout the levels, hit the bolt cranks, um, and keep going. Because the bolt cranks are reasonably close together, and it takes the box a little while to. We can't do the thing where we abandon them and wait for the to spawn. We sort of have to babysit them in some instances. Uh, okay. Uh, we come over to the final prank and uh, And then this one is it's a, it's a little bit finicky to set up, but it, so you have to hack these orbs on this shield thing. Like the whole premise of this was that you have to reactivate this giant shield. But what do you want to do is. Put, because you don't have the human, you want to get the bots to start on either side of, to start on either side there, so that they go in opposite directions. I don't remember exactly how much time it saves, but it is a fair, but it is a decent amount. Yeah, so you can you can just wait you can just wait here until the bots hack until the bots hack all of the orbs, and then the last level. Yeah. And there we go. Then it's just defeat all the enemies on these different platforms. We have the Arbiter with maxed area mods, so it probably covers like it covers like half the area. Okay. Right, Morexus. Oh, how is it? It feels, it doesn't feel like that long ago I actually started, like, how is it already basic, how is it, how is it already the beginning of the end of the game, and we're already at Moraxis. I mean... And we don't want to release them at all, but uh, apparently just by jumping over a fence, one of them has gone there. Uh, so we're just sort of living the, the free life and driving around in our Puma. This planet's name sounds a little like a Pokemon. It does a bit. <laughs> okay. I have no idea how that name is. Yeah, so... Yeah. I, I mean... I did actually do this at another marathon early, at another marathon, and I found us. We, we we found a speed clip through this door at the marathon, <laughs> and yeah. Okay. 
Come on. No, I am not. No, I am not doing being straight. <laughs> I mean, actually, no, feel, no, why not? Why not? No, nah, that wasn't it. Nah, never mind. Yeah. All right, final tournament. Yeah, like, like there is a but there is some debate about what is like the worst the worst weapon in the game. Obviously, I mean, in general, it's. I mean, yes, but the B six which you have to use now, and the Holy Shield launcher are also high contenders. Uh, if an enemy walks into it, you can, I think. I mean, but in general, the weapons are pretty high quality. It has some of arguably the best weapons in the series, such as the Scorpion, which is used for a lot of loot. Plus, it just plus it just kind of shreds everything, as you can clearly see. One, we just have to kill uh, a certain number of enemies. Every time we kill an enemy, we can like, how exciting. Um, so we're just going to quickly kill as many enemies as we can. Uh, once we get to 135, the level ends, and we can move on. So, this will be um, It's another instance where uh, looking at the floor can be helpful. For, uh, and Ace is dead. Ghost Station. You see, this is where the regular NG Plus category starts. Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> No. Six thirteen. Last I checked. No, it's Muck now. Mo Mo Mobius did have it, and then Muck got it back. You don't even have to. You don't even have to. You don't even have to clip through it. You can just. You can just jump around it. Wow, that was fast. Those. Those were fast mine clips. Yeah. This mission, all you got to do is block this computer in the only condition that the game is checking for. Uh, and so once you block the computer, the level's over. 
And then this is the second hover ship mission. Yeah, it's yeah nine turrets. There's always like there's a two at the end. Like, so this got route. This got rerouted not actually too long ago. Like, I mean, it was like, yeah, it was a year. It was over a year ago, but. I digress. They, they, they did come up with a new route that was slightly faster. Which, this, yeah. But both, funny enough, like, both the old and the new route both end with you killing two turrets. It's just the, the old route ends with the, with the two on the bridge, or with the two on the bridge, kind of in the middle of it. Whereas the new route ends with these two down here. Like this. So I, 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 by this point, I do all of them, though my central core clip is still a bit hit or miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, like if you yeah, if you must learn any of them, learn the second one, because the old right was just pain. Yes. Which is so much nicer than it used to be. Because this enemy, this room would be full of enemies, otherwise. But they're not invulnerable. Yeah, we, we yeah we did do it on Moraxis earlier in the first mission. There we go. Come on. Oh, I went too far. 
This is... So, yeah. Like there, I put back out. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's actually possible to get to here, to get in here from Out of Bounds, because I have a feeling there's a massive dead space in here. I mean, that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, time is coming up soon. Okay, so time ends when the screen goes black completely. Okay. And... Uh, time. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of bad, I guess, but that's what you got to put up with in a marathon. <laughs> yeah, at least with every... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess just all, just the Ratchet and Clank community as a whole, like, it's, it's very good at helping people through certain situations and... To Ben, obviously, for being here. I don't think Sage Ben quite managed to get in in time, but... Yeah. Yeah. All of the gangs in various channels, everyone like, is very friendly, collaborating with strategies. Yeah. There's lots of available resources people will help you get into this game or any other game in the series. Yeah. Alright. That's everything then. Thank you.